Well, experts in the field of climate change say the science solidly supports waste to energy incineration. They say the technology is the best choice to deal with the region's garbage. Teresa Lalonde has that part of the story. This garbage would be in a landfill if Burnaby didn't have an incinerator. The city has been burning its excess waste since 1988. The plant in Burnaby has received a number of awards for environmental performance. Dennis Ranahan says the city pulls out food scraps from the pile, then burns what can't be recycled. Leather is burned, carpets, couches and mattresses. There are 1,000 waste to energy plants around the world, most in Europe and Asia. Here are the basics of how waste gets turned into energy. Garbage trucks drop loads into the bunker. The garbage is burned. The heat and gases produced are cooled and sent to an air pollution control system. Steam produced by the heating of water in the plant turns the turbo generator and produces electricity. You can't recycle products made out of mixed materials, a running chute, fabric and rubber. A common stapler, plastic on the outside, metal on the inside. Each component can be recycled, but not together. And a hockey stick, painted wood, can only end up in a landfill or the incinerator. This climate change expert says fear around the plants is misplaced. This is a, 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 a fantastic idea for many reasons. It's environmentally uh, uh, very sound, it's economically very sound, and it, it's, it actually gets to the real heart of, a, of an issue, what, 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 which is if you're going to produce waste, it doesn't solve the problem by carting it somewhere and throwing it over someone's fence. Andrew Weaver believes incineration along with a robust recycling and composting program is the best plan. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.